the steel can endure corrosive salts and neutron bombardment for at least five years, after which the reactor module is shut down and swapped out for a fresh one. That's right, just five years. In traditional solid fuel reactors, corrosion and radiation mostly wear down the fuel rods and their cladding, which are components designed to be swapped out during routine refueling. But in molten salt reactors, the fuel is dissolved into the circulating salt which flows through nearly every part of the system. That means the entire reactor module, core, pumps, and pipes, takes the hit. So instead of just replacing fuel rods, you eventually have to replace the whole unit. Ironically, the fuel and water moderator get saved. And then the, the fuel salt and the heavy water, that can be reused. So the fuel salt and the heavy water is just the same, being used over and over and over again. And that's also the expensive part. Even with frequent reactor swaps, Copenhagen Atomics still sees a path to low-cost power. And Peterson is quick to note the upside. But the great thing about that is that every five years you are able to upgrade your technology, whereas now with the classical nuclear reactors, they run for 50 or 60 years, and it's still the old technology from back in whenever they were built. But in our case, we will keep on, you know, even after 50 years, it's still five-year-old technology. So that's sort of a plus in terms of keeping, keep on improving the efficiency of the system. <laughs> 